Hi, everybody. This is Vicki Lee. If you like my speaking, please like, share, and subscribe. We are going to be talking this week about some things that affect us all. And um, so we're going to talk today about go ahead, shop till you drop. Shop until there's nothing left. Go ahead, spend it all. Don't worry about any of it. Don't worry about the bills that are going to come due after you have exhausted everything. Well, if you are a person that is financially responsible, that doesn't sound like very good advice, does it? <laughs> and so I'm going to talk about our country and where we are right now. According to what is my um, understanding as of today, we are about $32 trillion in debt. There is a, a debt ceiling crisis. They want to raise the debt ceiling again, and I'm not coming to you as a Republican or a Democrat. I'm talking to you as a Christian speaker, and we've got to start thinking about this because if we don't, we are going to be in trouble, in real trouble. $32 trillion is a lot of money, isn't it? And so with the COVID spending a couple of years ago, there were a lot of emergencies, and our spending went up by about 40%. We have people on one side of the aisle saying, Okay, we'll raise the limit, but we've got to start dealing with this debt. We got to quit spending money like water. And there are other people saying, no, just raise the debt. We don't want to default. And I don't think anyone really wants to default, but you know, we don't, we just want to keep going. And so, what is wise? You're an American, possibly. If you're a person from another country, you're probably looking on at the shores of America saying, Whoa, those Americans are really going at it, aren't they? <laughs> we tend to do that in the United States in free countries. We have the right to go at it, but we have the responsibilities of making good decisions or we won't have it anymore. Just like in your own house, if you keep overspending, eventually it comes to a crash and a halt. And it's not a very attractive situation to be in and to try to live with. So let's go to some statistics about the Bible. Let's go to what Jesus had to say. Nearly 15% of everything Jesus spoke about related to money and possessions. 16 out of 38 parables dealt with the topic of money. The only subject Jesus taught more about than money was the kingdom of God. So Jesus is going, you know what? This matters. This really matters. I want you to be wise. And in Proverbs 21, 20, it says, a wise man saves for the future. A wise man saves for the future. In the last couple of days, I think it was yesterday, I talked about the border crisis. What are we going to do? We got all these people coming on. We've got municipalities and states and localities that are saying, we don't have the budget for this. These people are being shipped over to us with no, um, nothing, no communication. We just have them dumped on us and we're getting more and we can't handle this on any level. So what are we doing? What are we doing? That's my question. When we have this debt ceiling crisis and you have people saying, okay, we'll raise the limit, but we've got to stop spending money. The, you know, COVID came, we were spending 40% more, but now we've got to put in our belt. We're post pandemic. We're kind of in a different level here. We're post pandemic. So let's tighten our belt. And other people are saying, no, just raise the limit. Like I said, this isn't a political this, I'm coming to you as non-political. I'm coming to you as Christian, but I'm coming to you to say, what are we doing? Where are we headed? $32 trillion in debt. Do we just keep going like we're going? Do we have no thought for tomorrow? How do we bring that number of $32 trillion down? That's a practical question. That's an accounting question. That's just finances. That's just the betterment of the next generation that doesn't need to come up and be raised with nothing but debt laid on them. Our children deserve better than that, don't they? Don't they? And so when you have overspent or something happens, then you need to tighten your belt and figure out you need to downsize, right? And save money and put that money towards the debt and get back into the black. I love the color red. It's my favorite color, but not on financial sheets. We need 
to be responsible, don't we? We, the people, form a more, a better union. We do. We form the more perfect union. And so it's up to us as citizens of this country to sit down and say, what are we going to do? I, as a Christian teacher, have told the church, you need to take on the caring for of society. You really do. We are the ones who should be doing that, not the government. So I'm trying to help streamline and get everything over that should belong to the church under the authority and the provision of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit who own the cattle on a thousand hills, the wealth in every mine, and they will open those missionary doors and the windows of heaven open so that we can provide for and help change society from the inside out so that things settle down, get the financial load off of Washington, D.C. The church has its rightful role and its inheritance through the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit that will pour out once we take on that mantle. We're not going to get it figured out in this speaking, are we? But I can bring it to the table and say to us, non-politically, what are we doing? Where are we headed? Where do we want to take this? I always say, we're writing a story. What story are we presently writing in our nation at this time moving forward? Above all, if you don't have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. It's for freedom that he sets you free. And they talk about the, the righteous man goes through a narrow gate. Everyone goes through a wide highway because you go through a narrow gate. But once you get past that gate and you know who you are in the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, it's a wide open area of freedom under his precepts where you are joyful and you have peace that passes understanding. I hope this helps everybody. My name is Vicki Lee. If you like my speaking, please like, share, and subscribe.